Good evening, everybody. Rubish Master here, and I know this video is coming out a little bit late in the game. Son of a gun. Okay, I need to attack this thing very quickly because it's running out. And then afterwards, I will give a shout out to the person that gave me the basis for the platoons I'm going to use. This is going to be a two attack win, or it should be. I've done this twice already. If it doesn't work because I'm talking too much or I'm too distracted, that sucks to be me, but it should work. You know, I got extremely lucky. I actually, attacking outposts, I got two gold crates in a row, then a bronze crate, then a silver crate, then another gold crate, which gives me more than a 900 I need to attack this base. Anyway, so we are going to jump right in this. We're going to attack with our first platoon. Okay, let's make sure we're ready for this. Ice pack got everything else ready. Come on, let's... Huh, seems to be working a little differently, okay. Let's just go for it. Gonna turn AI off, going to select our largest group, which will help us kill these guys a little faster. Speed is key. We want to avoid getting hit too much by these mortarmen. They, this is probably the most dangerous part, because your units can take a lot of damage right here. Alright, so let's all go there. Now we're going to move them all into position in line here. We're going to go ahead and select our tanks and have them start rolling that way. Going to send everything very close after. Wow, these guys are a little bit more spread out than they were before, but shouldn't be that big of a deal. Let's send these guys in front again. Go ahead. And wreck all these guys. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. and wreck as much of this as possible. Okay, we're going to attract the attention of this helicopter, which should detour over and start attacking our tanks, which isn't that big of a deal. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and have our tanks grouping up here. Okay, we're gonna have our tank Actually, we're going to select everything and have them destroy this wall to make our path a little bit easier. We can use our airstrikes there. Now I know this is total chaos, I know. Alright, come on guys, come on guys, don't let me down.
All right, hey, we're actually doing a lot better than I was before. Okay, uh, 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 let's go ahead and use our air... Hello, airstrikes, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and use our time we have here to take out some of the... Uh... Alright, so we're going to redeploy. We actually did a lot better than I've done before. Previously, I only made it up to the Salvo Torret. Did a little bit of damage to it, but wasn't quite able to finish it off. So, what we've got going on now is we're going to switch to our backup platoon. And again, I want I cannot take full credit for the strategy I'm using. It was given to me by a subscriber. I just had to launch this attack before the space went away. I'll give a shout out to him as soon as this attack is over. Okay, so we've destroyed everything up to here. So all we have to do is do a little cleanup work, then take out La Muerte. So let's get on that. We're going to attack with this platoon. We're going to use our what you call our Humvees initially, just because that's our fastest thing. No dip, Sherlock. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and select all and turn AI off so we don't forget about that later, because that would be bad. Okay, anyway, our Humvees are our fastest vehicle, so we're gonna get them up here, do a little cleanup work, and then take out that last little thing that releases the commando so that we can spawn the rest of our units right there and save them the time of moving here. Now this is where it's going to get a little hairy because we're going to basically lose the ability to select any of our units for a minute. Holy cow, we actually did really well there. This 10% damage boost, plus the 15% damage boost, but that 10% damage boost especially, is something I didn't have. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and select all our troops and have them deploy here. Um, our guy is going to go do his thing and get... No, 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 no. Too early, too early. Go away, go away, please go away, please go away, please go away. You're not going to go away. You're not going to go away. This has the potential to be disastrous. I did not mean to lead him in, but it doesn't matter. Still wrecked him. And the game's basically won at this point. That extra 10% damage from the other two attacks I did earlier is really helping out. Doesn't look like we're getting it. I like that I'm getting Heinz. I mean, I can't build. A... Oh, sniper cards. That's cool. I mean, thank you for the sniper cards. Now, if only I had a sniper to build with them. But I'm. Okay, here we go. The guy's name is Crazed Psycho One. He's the one that gave me the idea. Um, his, 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 uh, his idea for the platoon was, um, okay, sorry. <laughs> okay. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Okay, so his idea for the platoon was Alpha Platoon as five Abrams, four Humvees, and 15 machine gunners. I uh, supplemented the machine gunners for a few more Humvees and two S-13s. Uh, just because 
machine gunners are slower, even though they do deal a lot more DPS. They're slower. I wanted a, bit, a lot more mobility to be able to get in and out of situations more quickly, especially with those salvo turrets. Um, and the Humvees are not nearly as squishy as machine gunners are, and each time you lose one machine gunner to a salvo turret or a group of machine gunners, your DPS gets drastically cut. However, you all know that for regular attacks, I love using my infantry because of their extremely high DPS. Now, my second platoon is actually the exact same as he suggested. One tank, six Humvees, and machine gunners. Uh, the tank, really the tank is just for cleanup in case you don't make it quite far enough into your attack. Um, so the attack you just saw, you really you don't even need the tank. You could put two more Humvees or a bunch more infantry in the platoon because the Humvees are the best distraction to the hind. The hind shreds tank armor anyway, so you just want to have lots of Humvees because Humvees can deal a decent amount of damage to the hind and they can absorb a good amount of damage. Your infantry, of course, is just to shred through your hinds armor. Ignore that platoon, that's just my farming platoon for outposts. But yeah, so big shout out to Craze Psycho 1. Thank you so much, dude. You kind of gave me the heart to actually come in and try this again. So that's how you do this in two attacks. Hopefully this video won't take forever to load up. And you'll actually be able to use this information a little bit. Also, um, because the first day was a bust, make sure you go, I did a post on their Reddit saying that they did a good job. We want to congratulate these guys when they do well, so they keep doing well. They, I, we want them to know when we like what they're doing. However, I also mentioned it would be nice if we could get an extension on this event because of how badly the first day went. So go show your support to that on the Reddit page. Maybe we'll get an extra day. That'd be pretty freaking sweet. But until next time, y'all have a wonderful day.